Welcome once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This again is Photoshop Elements 6 and this is Organizer Part 2. As you notice the videos are broken down in under 10 minute segments and that's mainly because 10 minutes is a limitation that YouTube allows you to upload and that's who's hosting my videos so I have to stay within their guidelines. In this second uh, view of the organizer I just wanted to point out just a couple more key topics that you should know to better organize your pictures. The first thing I want to tell you about is ratings. Now ratings are very nice. Let's say you've taken uh, quite a few pictures. Um, maybe you went to the zoo. Um, it was some outdoor photography. Uh, maybe you're at a birthday party and you had a really nice um, portrait of somebody at the party. And you want to rate that picture so you can easily find it later. Let's just go and take a couple of our pictures and we'll give them ratings. As you can see the stars on the bottom, if I move my mouse over, I'm not clicking anything, just sliding my mouse over, I can rate it from 1 to 5 stars. Let's rate this one as a 3. We're going to rate this one as a 4. You get the idea. You can just slowly go across there and you can rate it. You can also have the option of clicking different pictures and holding down the control key if you have quite a few of them and then right click on one of the pictures go to ratings and let's rate these ones as five stars now you can see we very easily rated those as five stars instead of individually clicking on the stars itself so now you may be asking Jack why is this a good thing this is a good thing because it's very easy then for us to find our rated pictures we already know that we have them organized into albums and tags, but now you have your really good pictures rated. To find those pictures, you can go up here and search based on the number of stars that you have selected on the picture themselves. Let's say we want to see all the four star pictures. Click on here, and well, that shows you all the four stars and higher. Click this pull down menu click on only that shows only the four star pictures click here again and click on lower that shows you everything we have rated lower than four stars plus the four stars so you get the idea and higher take all the stars off and we'll go back here to show all and that'll bring all of our pictures back up again now that's one additional way to actually use your organizer is by rating your pictures. The next thing I wanted to show you on the organizer is placing your pictures in what is known as stacks. What stacks will do is take multiple shots of basically the same thing. Um, as you can see for instance I have multiple shots of my hard drive, multiple shots of my uh, wireless card here and it allows you to place those into a stack. We can do that very easily by clicking on the picture, first one, hold the control key down, click on the second one, click on the next one you wish to have in your stack, and then leave your control key down. Now use your right mouse button and right click and go to stack. Now just simply go over and click on stack selected photos. All of a sudden, those photos are placed basically into a drawer, or you can see they're stacked on top of each other. Let's do one more so you can see how that works. Click on the first one, hold your control key down, click the second one, and then click the third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It doesn't matter. You can put as many of these pictures you want in your stack. And then right click on the picture, go down to stack, and then stack selected photos. Once again they're stacked and as you can see the organizer is moving up and you'll see later on in these video tutorials when we edit and we save a picture it automatically stacks them with the original so that makes it very nice and very easy to find your edited pictures but we're concentrating right now on stacks now to see all the pictures in that stack if you see the little uh, arrow right here click that arrow and the stack opens up. You can see what's in there. Click it again and we can close it. 
Click this one. We opened it, see what's in there. Click it again, and we'll close it. This stack, as you can see, there's two pictures, the original and the edited, or switchos. That's the original picture, and that is edited because I cropped it down, so that's the edited picture. That is how stacks work. If you don't no longer uh, want to stack, just right click on it again, go down to stack, and go to unstack photos. And as you can see, I put them right back in the organizer the way they were. Now, I wanted to tell you about the show uh, date range or show the calendar. This is a nice feature. If you click on the pull down menu for display and click on date view, this is a nice feature because the pictures are actually dated when you take them. It's written into the picture file itself. This is not necessarily to say when you imported the pictures, it's more to say when the pictures were taken. So what makes that nice, if you're on a vacation and you're using one memory card and you take pictures on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the dates on the pictures will be different because they'll be embedded into the picture file itself. Now as you can see here, this is March, and these are two different uh, sets that I've taken in March. Go back. Here's the birthday party we was looking at earlier. That was taken in February 2nd. And if I click on that, I can double click on it. And I can actually open these pictures up to see what's in here. Uh, these are actually all different pictures in here. As you can see, that's something I did in the editor. And uh, so you see how that actually works. You can go back to the date view. And you can also go down here and look by the year. As you can see, everything in blue is date that there's actually been pictures taken that I've imported into the actual organizer. Let's go back to the photo browser. The last thing I actually wanted to show you was how you actually can put these pictures on a map. Let's take, say you take a vacation to Walt Disney World and you like to place the pictures on the map in Disney. You would just simply click on the picture and you can go down to where it says place on map type in an address to place the photo. Now I found that the address of zip code works really really well. Um, let's use a local zip code. 15021. Let's put that zip code in. Find it. And that's about right. Paris PA. Click OK. It's going to take that picture and place it on the map and that is going to be located right in Paris, Pennsylvania. That's a town really not too far away from us, so that's why I kind of picked that. Um, the map should populate here in just a second. Um, playing with the internet here a little bit, a, a lot, because I'm actually uploading videos as I'm recording videos, so sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the map to populate. And at that point, you can see now that there's a little push pin on the map in Pennsylvania. And if you click on that, you actually see a thumbnail picture of the picture you placed on that map. So it's just a really cool way that you can actually mark pictures of where you've actually taken them from. To close the map, just simply close it out, and hopefully that will help you a little bit further with how to organ organize your pictures in Photoshop Element 6 Organizer. Well, thanks again for watching the video tutorial. My name is Jack. This is Jack's Tech Corner, and I will be posting more video tutorials on Photoshop Element 6 very soon, so I'll see you there. And if you have any questions, email me at Jack's Tech corner at gmail.com. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.